in terms of uh, maybe the, the power of the camera, and now we, we're gonna use different solution. We have batteries. The batteries are generally BPUs. So the BPU allows you to use different capacity. For example, this one is a 30 uh, BPU battery, which means you can get 45, 50 minutes out of it, but then you can get maybe a capacity of 60 or 90. Obviously, we got DC power here, which is a 12 volt power supply with two pin. And then talking about maybe the, the capture cards here, so the media storage for the camera, we have opted for a CF Express card. You got two slots here, so you can actually use the first slot and eventually float into the, into the second one. If you look at the front of the camera at this size, perhaps we can reveal the uh, USB-C connector. This USB connector allows you to connect the accessories for the camera. In this case, we see pair it with the uh, Pixis monitor. The Pixis monitor is again, sort of like simulating and replicating the menu of the camera. And also you can obviously have the visual and access every single uh, setting of the camera itself. So this is very useful, especially if you are not really going to interfere with the use of the LCD on the side of the camera. The Pixis monitor can be replaced with a, an electronic viewfinder, and these accessories are yeah. all pretty much the same in all our Ursa Cine range, so you can share it with it, and you can decide which one to use. With the latest update, we also enable the rare port, so the USB at the back, which is multifunction. That means that you can either record on an SSD drive, or again, use a, an accessory such as the electronic viewfinder. Availability of the camera will be soon with our, with our reseller, so we are ramping up production pretty quickly and that will be available, as I said, very, very soon. So we hope you're going to enjoy it. So thank you so much. And once again, IBC 2025 of the Black Magic Booth.